The next example, determine that the transformation is an isometry. Remember an isometry is when you have two images, the pre-image and the image are congruent, right? So for um, rotation, reflection, and translation. So we just want to see if these two are congruent. Now to determine if two triangles are congruent, remember we have those um, theorems and postulate where it says um, angle, side, angle, right? The corresponding parts, angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, side, angle, angle, and side, 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 right? Those are the different um, congruence uh, of, what is it, theorems and postulates. So we want to see if this pair of triangles apply to any of those. Now, here I see that an angle is congruent here, and side, right, and their corresponding parts. Now for this one, angle B is corresponding with angle E. This one's given and this one is not. And angle C is, is uh, corresponding with angle F, but this one is not given and this one is. So I want to find the angle, the measure of this angle, and I can do that by subtracting from, or taking these two and subtract, subtracting it from 180. So it's 180 minus 105 plus 40. This right here is 145. Okay, so if you subtract 180 from this, you will get 35 degrees. So measure of angle C is 135, or I'm sorry, 35 degrees. Now measure of angle E is going to be 180 minus 35 plus 40, right? Now we don't have to solve for that because we know that this is 35. So this angle is congruent to this angle. And of course, that means that this angle has to be congruent to this angle. So I have angle side angle, right? Because uh, this angle is congruent. Okay, a pair of angles are congruent. Their sides are congruent. And the angles are congruent. So because of this, these two triangles are congruent. And so therefore, this is an isometry, so it's yes.